Yo, what's going on, 60 Game Learners? What are they here doing a ranked 1v1? It is Try Hard Thursday. It is also my brother's, or my brother and my dad's birthday. Both of them. I know. I know it's crazy. Seek. It's crazy that it's both of their birthdays today, but, uh, but it is. I mean, that's just, that's just a fact. Fact of the matter, if you will. It just is. So. Please say happy birthday to them in the comments. And I can show them later when I go over to their house. Um, do I go Hecate here? I feel like Hecate's not bad. 55 power, 15% attack speed versus 60 power. Let's go Hecate. I don't know if this is the right play, to be honest with you. I feel like it might not be, but we'll see. We'll see. By the way, Dino is an MMR capped gamer, so he's uh, he's definitely got the goods. He's got the good stuff going on right now. He's going transcendence. That means that I got to be a little bit worried about fighting. He clears really well, correct? Is that fat AoE auto attack? Oh, I don't know about that, actually. You're not clearing too well. Nice. Nice. Really good kill there. I'm surprised he went on me. I feel like... I feel like if he just ran away there, he would have lived. Correct? Like if he just dipped out and was like, whatever. You'll never get me, Bozo Man. I feel like that would have been much better for him. But it doesn't really matter because I got the first blood and I'm happy about it. Just slowly kill these. I don't have a lot of mana, so I gotta be careful here. I wanna do his blue, but I feel like I might die. I'm gonna do it. My shell never I was spamming it, dude. I was spamming the shell right there. Actually spamming. Ever since I landed from the alt. I was shell spamming. Okay, well. Obviously not good. Obviously not good. Damn it. Sights unseen. You know what is good though? Is that I actually win the late game, I'm pretty sure. So if I win the late game, I'm okay. I'm not behind yet, at least. All right. He went aggro there for no reason, which is very, very good for me. Because I get tier 2 breastplate now, which means next time he ults me, I'm kind of okay. <laughs> like, I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna die. Ah, uh, well, he does have transcendence, actually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'll be fine. I guess is he backed? Yeah, he's backing. 
Uh, there's no XP on the map right now. So there's really nothing I need to worry about other than just farming up. And getting some gold and chilling. Just being annoying. Just being annoying. Obviously, red just spawned. I want to get red buff, but I can't do that while he's here. Because he will ring bounce and three me at the same time, which will combo me out. Well, it won't combo me out, but it'll combo the red buff out. His ring bounce is down. So I should be able to get red now. And I don't care too much about mana right now. My mana seems pretty stable, so... Battle. Okay, you alt me maybe? Perfect. The reason that's perfect is because I wasn't actually trying to kill him. I really don't care if he died or not there. What I care about is making sure that I have triple buff control over him. So that I'm farming more efficiently and able to actually make it to that late game point where it doesn't matter what I do. I just kind of win the fights, you know? So triple buff control acquired. He's probably got tier 2 defense here. I've got finished breastplate, so I'm feeling a lot better than he is. I'm gonna want... That was a really loud level up. I'm gonna want... Bancrofts. But I might just say screw the Bancrofts and go straight Typhons, because I already have Hecate as lifesteal. I don't know. We'll see how it works. I'm just going to be annoying here. Figured as much could happen. <clears throat> he doesn't do enough damage to me to warrant me being scared of him. Like, I just... I have lifesteal, right? So... Good tower damage. I'm going to keep it up. Go. I guess I can go get tier 2 Bancrofts or whatever. I think even if he landed that three, <coughs> nothing happens to me. I just think I have too much healing. I have too much healing and... <coughs> Excuse me. On top of that, I have uh, shell and a finished defensive item. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to get this wave too. It's already here. I might as well. I'm not going to be able to get his blue buff. Getting his blue buff would be incredibly greedy. Um, I actually kind of want a Toxic Blade. Is that dumb? I mean, it gives me a lot of damage because it's 30% attack speed. The health part of Toxic Blade doesn't matter to me. The anti-heal part is good, though. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting that blue. He's waiting by it. If he was like a second or two late, then I definitely could have gotten it, but my boy was on time. Respectable. Hello. Okay. 
Interesting that he would choose. Yep. Very, very predictable. Very, very predictable. Obviously, he wants to alt me while I'm walking through tower. But uh, it's interesting he chose to shell instead of just alt. Because alt is on such a shorter cooldown than his shell. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> He's going beat stick now. What if I just didn't build any more lifesteal? What if I just build damage now? Like, I go Talkines or something. Boom. Dude, I, my whole life is just here to annoy you. I'm sorry. I am act. I actually apologize because like, what, what can he do there? What can he do there? I didn't even want to fight him. I just saw that he was there and I was like, well, if he's here, I might as well, you know? Bad matchup. It just goes to show you, man, like when two people, like once you get to a certain skill level, it doesn't really matter at that point anymore. Like you're just, you're an, you're an MMR capped gamer. And at that point it's matchup, right? Like when you're good enough to be MMR capped and I'm not talking about MMR cap with cheesy shit, like spamming Hades and Hebo and Uller, you know, I'm talking about MMR cap where you're, you're, you play whatever comes your way and you still win. You know, when you're that good, when you fight another MMR cap player, it just comes down to matchup. He did proxy clear, which I respect. I don't know if I can get this, honestly. Well, I do have good attack speed. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Literally, literal perfect gameplay from him right now. Okay, it's over. He had perfect gameplay. GG. GG. It was perfect gameplay because <coughs> when I activated my 2-1, he ulted me so that when I landed, my 2-1 would be gone and he could continue that onslaught of, of fighting, right? So that's why his engagement was like quite literally perfect. The only bad thing that happened for him that game was, or that fight, was he missed his 3 to keep the engagement going. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next game. Welcome back, boys. Game number two. Let's hit up an on her game. Oh, God. I'm fighting Loki. Oh, God. I don't like that. I don't like fighting Lokis. Let me tell you why. Well, you already know why. I don't like being assassinated. Oh, my God. He's a Loki main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I don't know. He's got at least, at least 400 stars. At least. I don't know about you, but to me, it looked a lot like he had 400 stars. This is a really bad matchup, isn't it? <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But he is knock up and knock back immune while using his three. So, like... I can't... I can't impale him or jump on him. That's not sicko mode. That is not sicko mode.
Yeah, I don't love that. My two. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do red. All right, he's stealth. Oh, he is out of mana. He is completely out of mana and is not using his potions. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know why. Why not use your pots? Maybe he didn't think that he had pressure. I don't know. My man definitely had pressure. He definitely had pressure. He's always going to have pressure this game because I am not in a position of matchup where I can be greedy about the fights I take. I'm alting this wave for, or this buff for the strict reason that I really want to back. Because I, he's level five. I have no mana. I have no shell. I feel like if he catches me at blue there, I'm just dead like i'm just it's dead it's over i'm deceased nice we can back after this wave get our transcendence we are a little bit ahead of him and i got chalice instead of uh pots so in the long run i'm i'm slightly ahead as well they will die. very very slightly ahead now, he can get Transcendence after that wave, obviously. Mm, I missed both melee minions there. <coughs> now, I don't know if he knows I ulted. If he knows I ulted, then he just com he full commits the second he sees me here. Guaranteed. Okay, he does not know I ulted. You are ulting. You're not ulting. Where'd he go? Did he... Also, why did I not take a tower shot there? I'm confused. Hello. Bro. I did not miss a single auto on him just now. <laughs> That's actually nuts. Oh, shit. He doesn't have ult. Do you have ult? I am confused about what's happening here. Because to me... What seems like should be an easy matchup for him is actually seeming to be easy for me. Although I will say just now, I did hit him for about 60% of his health before he went on me and I still almost died. So it's not as easy of a matchup. As, uh, or it's not as easy for me as I thought it should be. Matchup wise, I'm losing, but like... Gameplay wise, I'm I'm pretty far ahead, so I thought that kill would be free low. It wasn't. Hello, Loki. My platinum bordered friend. Perfect. Oh, I missed that auto. If I hit that auto, he dies there. If I hit that auto, I can actually just go crazy on him. Like jump under a tower and do whatever I need to do to get the kill. But missing it, it humbles me. 
I gotta sit back and wait. By the way, I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I still have a cough and a bit of the sniffles, but, uh... <clears throat> the, the pain that I had from my throat is actually almost completely gone, so... I'm feeling really good about that. Oh, not good. Wow. You got absolutely chunked by my ult. I hit 7 out of 8. Hmm. What's my what's my item of choice here? I kind of want to go Crusher. Is that stupid? I want to go Crusher just so I can see him when stealth when he runs away. You know, like if I hit him with my three or my two or something. I can just keep tabs on him a little bit better. Not to mention, Crusher does give attack speed. 25%. No, 10%. It was nerfed. But still, attack speed. More than likely, he's proxying me. Yeah. He's a Loki player after all. That's what they do. You are you better alt out of here, bro. Never mind. I'm garbage. Give me sight. Running away. I'm not scared of you. I just want your tower. I just want your tower. You proxied one of my wave. It is my right to be aggressive and take tower. Alright. I have no idea where he went. Oh. Okay. I will take an alt for alt while getting some Phoenix damage. Like, that was an even trade, except for the fact that it wasn't even at all because I get about 600 damage off of his Phoenix. Oh, took the auto. Maybe take a Phoenix shot. Not cool. Uh, let's see your blue. And now let's do the red. I'm 2,000 gold up right now. Bro, he's level 11. I'm kind of doing him dirty this game. <clears throat> All right. Grab the crusher. And then I'm just going to go toxic blade because it's attack speed. And I'm going to go girdle and my game plan is to burst bull demon because I don't I don't believe he can fight me I only need one relic this game as long as I use my advantage accordingly which is not losing bull demon and actually using bull demon I do way more damage than you you need to be scared of me in fact you need to alt out of here Massive kill. <laughs> I'm not going to girdle bull demon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take bull demon. I'm going to get this XP camp behind me here. And I'm going to back with tier two. Tier two. Uh, toxic blade. <clears throat> and some potions. A lot of them. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to push. Like, I, if he fights me, cool. If not, doesn't matter. If he proxies me, doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that I have... Hello. I heard you. What matters is the fact that I have what I need, which is Girdle and Bolding. Girdle, by the way, in case you're wondering, makes you do increased damage to objectives. Alright, 
he missed his ult. So now we get this. And I think he's going to proxy. He's not. He's just backing. All right. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep the pressure up, man. Just keeping the pressure up. These are unfortunately normal minions, so they're not going to have too much. Hello. Going to tank a bit of this. Bro, it should be illegal to do what I'm doing to this Loki. I'm doing... I'm like... Reading his every move. Oh, I should not have canceled my ult there. Oh, perfect. He's not going to be able to run after me because he's got fire minions he's got to deal with. I cannot believe I lived through that, in all honesty. That's immaculate. Alright, I was worried he was coming for me. Because I didn't see him going for the wave. And so I stopped talking because I was like, oh god, he's coming for me. I'm gonna get clapped up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be looked looked to be humiliated here. But no, actually he was just he was just waiting at the wave. Um now girdle. How much more damage do you make me do? 10% more to targets, including objectives. <coughs> With 10% more damage, does my alt kill Titan? Maybe. Mm. It does. All right. GG gamer. GG gamer. I could have fought. I could have fought him probably, but he put himself in a position that he came at me and unfortunately he didn't three so he got knocked back towards it so my my options were either oh i just missed a cue that's annoying or either fight him or win the game and either way wins me the game because i win the fight regardless but you know whatever i'll see you guys in game three yo what's up boys back in game number three how you doing how you doing i'm playing kali i want to go burst kali with crit Oh, it's Tilfter again. He's using the Dapper skin. AKA the skin that I feel like isn't even a skin. It's, it's a skin that's like... I, happen to control all I guess removes color. I can like it, it's just a black and white skin. So don't cross. And it's annoying to me that they released it. <laughs> I feel like there there's no way. Hyres has the best art team probably in all of gaming like the skins they release are so damn good that it blows my mind to think that they still feel the need to release a recolor i know some people like recolors like they don't ever use the default skin and they just use the recolor skin but i don't know man I guarantee Smite's art team is like, you really want to release the recolors still? Like, I could do so much more. And yeah, there they are, releasing recolors. I just wanted the minis. Hello. Tilfter, by the way, which is the person I'm fighting right now, he complimented me on... Um, he said, I hope, you, I hope you feel better soon. And he also complimented me and said... You did really very impressive stealth reads on me. And I have a massive respect to people who 
aren't like making excuses all the time. Like the fact that he was just like, hey man, good fucking reads. It makes me respect him a lot. Uh, I'm literally, okay. Ouch. I'm literally never getting red buff because I don't have any mana. So you can have red buff. I'm going to do blue buff and we'll call it even. It takes me quite a long time to do this. And heal. And now, if you're not done with red buff yet, I do have mana. Oh, you went for blue too. Chad. Okay. I auto attack red to bait him over. I jump on him, auto him, three him, two him. Big ages, big ages, big ages. Nice. I ulted just for the DPS. Because if his heal went off, it, well, it wasn't the heal that I was scared about because I could kill him through the heal. But it was the movement speed. I don't think I could actually keep up with him if that heal went off. I think he's too speedy quick. <clears throat> Alright, I back. Transcendence acquired. The best defense is a good offense. Good stuff here so far. Good stuff. Um, hold on. I'm un pausing a stream I'm watching because he's in a top two scenario. Oh, he's not doing well. Never mind. Never mind. We pause. We pause and minimize. <laughs> he's not doing well. Ow. Just jump on the big minion for a little bit of a heal. And you, sir. Oh, you, sir, are dead. <coughs> hmm. All right. I guess there's nothing on the map for me. I might as well just back here. I could probably fight him, actually. Maybe. Perfect. Perfect. That was a close. That was a close, close, close fight, though. Jeez. All right. Oh, dude. Fine. Blue buff is spawning again. I want to get Hydras. It is 2,300 gold. If I get blue buff, I can just get it on my next back. I guess. Now, the real question is, do I invade his blue? I, I think absolutely not, because he's gotten power spikes. And every single fight we've had, I have not backed a single time. So I'm just going to... I'm going to chill out for a second. I'm going to bide my time back and get Hydras. Now I'm going to do crazy high amounts of damage to him. Mm. I just had a moment. I don't know if you could see if you watch my eyes rewind the video. I looked at my camera and then I looked at my ring light and I was like, this is pretty insane. This is pretty insane. My, my career, not my temp job, but my career because I've been doing it for 10 years. Like, at this point, I can call it a career. Is talking to a computer screen? Actually? Oh, God.
Oh, fat ages, bro. Fat ages. Absolutely nuclear ages there. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. That was a good one. I still have no cooldown, by the way, which I don't enjoy. I think my next relic is probably going to be either blink or beads. You're not backing on my watch. No siree. You can do all, do everything you can, but it's not going to work. <laughs> the greed. To push the wave, man. The greed to push the wave. An understandable greed. Because he almost got his back off. Tracking the enemy's movement. Get a cooldown on your blue buff. <coughs> Use me. This isn't quite clear. Uh, my two and my three is max, so that's like most of my damage, pretty much. I'm actually very surprised he didn't go for the invade there. Hello. The reason I ran is because I knew he would two himself. And I wanted to keep my poke damage on him as much as possible. Big damage out of the two there. Just see if maybe we can seal this blue. Nice. You're backing, right? I don't know where he is, so I'm going to assume he backed. Hmm. Oh, nice. I got the red buff. Um. Oh, not the Aegis again. I'm so scared. Mm. Oh, not like this. Okay, my shell hit. My two hit him all three ticks or all three like initial hits of it and he lived man he lived I can't believe it <clears throat> I have so much gold too in hand 3.3 I want wind demon and I, I also want shadow seal I want shadow seal more than I want wind demon and I think I am gonna go blink here excuse me oh my goodness Hello? Oh. Damn. No way. I got pulled so quick. I got pulled so quick. I hit him with five auto attacks and didn't get my crit on him in order to lower his healing. That's unfortunate. Which, you know what's even crazier is I hit him. I hit him four times in a row. And then I hit the minions twice, and both times I hit the minions were crits. <laughs> That's so unlucky, man. But if I get enough crit chance, then RNG is taken out of the, the equation. I do quite like having blue buff right now, because I don't have any cooldown. Well, I mean, I have 20%, I guess. 
Oh, you are greedy. You're greedy. You went full, uh, full McScrooge on me just now. He got the one kill and thought, you know what? He's no match for me. But he didn't have alt up that time, man. You need your alt. Honestly, he probably needs his Aegis up too. To fight me. <clears throat> I'm going Deathbringer. And then um, after Deathbringer, I'm just going to go for a power item. Probably Heartseeker. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. If you ult me, I'm dead. I don't have alt up for five seconds. Patience. Bide your time. Okay. Nice. Nice. My guess is he didn't have alt up either. Because if he did, he definitely would have would have ulted a bit earlier. I I think. Come on. Nice. <coughs> oh shit! He got the poly on. You got the poly. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I can't do anything off that because I, uh, well, actually, I maybe could win the game, but I don't want to do them like that. I'm just going to go crit. <clears throat> now that I have Deathbringer, my crit chance should be 80% or 70. Yeah, it's 70. Just 30, 20, 20. Um, so I'm going to be critting most of my autos. And I have 300 power. Oh my god. I'm critting heavy too. My damage is up there. He's going spectral. Don't believe it will matter because I kill him instantly. Yeah. I kill him very, 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 very fast. In case you're wondering why I ulted, I used my ult as an auto reset. Man, I love Transcendence Hydra's Kali. It's so good. Not to mention, like, you get the 20% cooldown out the gate, right? And then you throw on some crit chance, and you're just doing so much damage. It's incredible, dude. It's incredible. I don't know. GG's. GG's, Tilter. Uh, I, like I said, it's my brother and my dad's birthday, so I'm going to end the video a little bit early today. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're... we're pretty close to MMR cap so it's not bad and um we'll see we'll see what like rank I am in the world or something I'm probably like 40th or something I'm, t I'm 24th well actually I guess that doesn't update I'm like top 20 21 what am I 34 10 yeah so I'm 21 it's not bad there's a lot of MMR cap people dude anyways uh love you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time, guys, peace.